If your company spends money to generate inbound sales calls, you may feel like understanding your customer conversations is fragmented at best or a complete blind spot at worst. Because listening to call recordings is so time consuming, getting actionable marketing data from conversations is a real challenge. That's why we've developed Signal Discovery, a first of its kind conversational analytics tool that uses proprietary machine learning algorithms to automatically surface conversational topics and associated insights, giving you a complete view into your customer conversations. You can use these insights to not only optimize your digital marketing strategy, but to uncover and understand buying experience issues that could be killing your revenue growth. Here's how it works. Let's say I'm a digital marketer at a large consumer bank. We begin here on our conversational map. To generate this map, Signal Discovery's algorithms have already analyzed thousands of my company's phone conversations. No two businesses' conversational maps are exactly alike because no two businesses have the same conversations with their customers. The creation of this map was completely automated and required absolutely no training or guidance from a human. What's displayed are the most common topics of conversation taking place between my contact center agents and my customers, with each bubble representing a unique topic. These topics are numbered 1 through 81. At this point, each topic is represented by a number because the system doesn't yet know the significance of each topic. That's for me to decide. Each topic is also assigned a color group, indicating similarity between topics. For instance, one group may represent high intent buyers, while another group may represent people calling in with account support issues. Let's go one level deeper and zoom in on a specific topic. You can now see a word cloud that's unique to this topic. The words featured here represent the spoken words that most distinguish this topic from other topics, immediately giving me a sense of what this topic represents. As you can see, this topic appears to be callers asking about mortgages. To verify what this topic actually represents, I will listen to sample calls that have been included with this topic. After listening to a few conversations, I realize that this isn't just people asking about mortgages, these callers have actually submitted a mortgage application. That's great. That's the exact type of conversion activity that I'm looking to understand and optimize my media against. From here, there are two things that I can do. First, I can analyze this topic in more detail. Second, I can take this topic and create a machine learning model to detect it on all future calls. Let's start by analyzing the topic further because I wanna know more about what's driving these conversations. On the Insights tab, I can see that, of all analyzed conversations, callers are submitting applications on 20% of them. I can also see the average call duration, as well as standard marketing metrics like the top source, channel, and medium, as well as custom metrics like the product viewed and the branch location. These custom metrics can be defined in a variety of ways, thanks to the flexibility of the Invoca website tag. Other metrics that our customers use include business line, first page view, dealer name, region, and more. With these insights, I can immediately see what marketing activities and online behaviors are driving mortgage applications. This is helpful because I can see what's working and not working, and I can begin thinking about strategies to drive more conversions. And since Signal Discovery did all this for me automatically, I didn't have to gather, sort through, or cleanse any data of my own. So it's great that Signal Discovery automated the discovery of my primary conversion event. But one of the best things about Signal Discovery is discovering those common topics of conversation that I didn't know were happening, but I really should be tracking. Let's find another topic to see an example. When I click into this one, I can see that this is likely callers asking about account fees and late payment fees. Most likely, we have customers trying to reverse a charge or understand why they're being charged a fee. Okay, so these aren't exactly the type of conversations that I, as a marketer, am trying to drive. But maybe there's some value here. Looking at these insights, I can see that not only are these conversations happening frequently on 20% of all my calls, but I can also see that I'm spending a lot of my paid media budget driving these calls. As you can see, nearly 24% of these calls were preceded by a paid search ad click. 
Well, this is something that I want to investigate further. My next step would be to understand why I'm bidding on these keywords that are driving these types of calls and how I can reduce that. After all, I want every single paid media dollar driving revenue, not helping people contact customer support. Let's look at one more. Here's an example of my customers calling in and leaving voicemails. Now in the past, I might have thought of this as a customer experience issue that really isn't affecting my marketing priorities at all. But if I look at these insights, I can see that a lot of these calls are being driven by my recent Turn Your Home Into Your Dream Home advertising campaign. Now this is an issue that I care about. My campaign is driving customers to call in, but when they do, a lot of them are going to voicemail. This is an issue that might make or break the success of my campaign. And when I look at this in even more detail, I can see that a few of my regional branches are accounting for a good portion of these voicemails. Perfect. This gives me the data I need to address this issue as soon as possible. Once I've identified a topic that will help me optimize my digital media campaigns, I can choose to track that signal on all new calls to my business by a simple click of a button. Let's go back to that first topic we looked at, which represented my phone conversions. What I'm going to do is create a signal from this topic, meaning that all new inbound calls will be evaluated to detect when a caller submits an application. The first thing I'll do is name this topic. I'll call it Mortgage Application Submitted. Next, I click Create Signal. It's as simple as that. This signal is now live alongside any other Signal AI, keyword spotting, or call duration signals that I may have created in the past. Once a discovery signal is created, I can activate this data in the rest of my marketing systems. For instance, I can automatically push new call conversions into platforms like Google Ads, Bing, Facebook, and Adobe Experience Cloud to finally see accurate online and offline reporting, optimize my campaigns, and build digital audiences for targeting and suppression. And remember, this data is being generated and pushed into these platforms in real time. So once you set it up, the data will be flowing automatically. No manual uploads, data formatting, or button clicking necessary. Thank you for joining me on this demo of Signal Discovery and Signal AI. If you'd like to learn more, please click the Learn More button on this video or reach out to your sales representative.